You now tuned in to the Rapper Base Show with Commander Thurston Hargrove and John the Organic. We the backsliders, we the backsliders. It's not what you believe, but what you know. Removing the veil from the lies they told. Let's get it. Gentlemen, tuned in. This is the Rapid Base Show. Freestyle yeah. show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, word. You know what I mean? Yeah, Yo, yeah. Uh, uh, the backsliders too, by the way. <laughs> in, in case you didn't know. Red and the Titans and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout Yo, out I, I was thinking of LeMay. Word. You know what I'm saying? Kesey LeMay, you said? Yeah, Kesey LeMay. <laughs> no, no, girl. I be forgetting that middle name, Lil May. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't do too much because then she goes, Yeah, you come and get me, uh, <laughs> Next time I call, I got Lil May, what up? Yo, don't do it. She's going to come for me, yo. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, Red of the Titans yeah, is yeah. coming back. This is so let me, this, this, since, we, since we're talking about. The Oracle, Kesey, you know what I mean? When uh when you when did y'all know like in terms of your journey? I'm sure you shared this with me, but like in terms of like okay, Keesh, like because I know y'all used to study together, do ministry together in terms of the church. Mm -hmm. And I know we all came in our own path to get to where we are now. But for you and your family and Keesey, when was it like this moment where you all were like, yo? What the fuck? <laughs> we was all, what moment was that for y'all, yeah? We, when we came back after being apart for years, where I went and passed the church and moved, she went to China, you know, um, you, you know, Amen and Brittany end up coming with the, us to start the church that we started. So I can't say I started. It was a group of us. And I did yeah. I was the only. I, know, I haven't met Brittany yet, though. Yeah, and you oh, She's amazing too. She's amazing, and, and what she went through, and what we went through together, my nigga, coming out of church. Wow. Was rough because it was. I mean, all of us, man. Shout out Keith Owen. Shout out J D Mahoplin. This is a motherfucking creative ass white dude, yo, that was with us. And it's not even like he, you know, we was already beyond that then. So these were right. just real young people that were real. Like we was really, we was really giving it a hundred percent, you know, like, but all of us honestly had that inward, like something ain't right. And that's what yeah. we clicked on, connected on. And then when I ended the church, that meant that each of us had to break out of this old paradigm and go on, on our unique journey, you mm. feel me, for years. And then wow. with Keisha, I, we ended back in Atlanta after my father-in-law passed, right? So we ended back in Atlanta, then Keisha ended back in Atlanta, then my homegirl Amy, then our homegirl Brittany ends up in, in Arizona doing real estate. Like you start, we started to see each person's unique expression come to be, and mm -hmm. it wasn't no, you know, you learn how to be connected at a distance because everybody on their own path. So for keeping us, that's when we knew, like, we're in a new day. That, that shit is. Wow. We knew, we just didn't know <laughs> what we were gonna do then, like, or how. We just knew that. That we ain't just it. Knew that ain't it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all we knew then. This ain't it. But and we we had right. no idea each of us what we were gonna go through with family. Wow. Yeah, I feel when I you first know, met y'all, I met y'all on just because I was posting and I saw like uh you know, I was like, yeah, this is a bullshit, y'all. People were giving me flack about it, or whatever. And I seen something just scrolling because uh knowing uh Kimberly Kesey and sister, I was like uh yeah, y'all popped up. I was like, who, who are these two? Yeah, I was like, oh, they going? They got bad knowledge. And I remember, I think I might have instant I messaged Kesey, you know, and it's just automatic. She'd be like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come by, me and John. And I remember the first day y'all pulled up, yeah, 
You know, yeah, like I knew, movie. I knew uh, her sister Kimberly, right? And because uh, I remember being with uh, the friends with cool with her uh, first husband, with with, oh, and, with, uh, with Kimberly's husband and all at the time. Yeah. And um, I remember being with them when she was in her church mode, and yeah. you know, I was dealt with my breathing, and I was with them in the car, and back then, and she was like. When they were arriving, she was like, Thirst, I'm gonna pray for you right now. And I was like, you know, I'm not in the church. And I was like, oh, she really on it like this, you know what I'm saying? So that was my whole uh in terms of meeting uh Casey's sister. I'm like, oh, they they holy well, yeah. it's, it's no yeah. games, right? So when yeah. I met y'all, and I just just when Kesey came yeah. to the crib, and we started breaking down some trees together, and I was just yeah. like yeah, I was nervous. Her yeah. <laughs> it's interesting you mentioned her family because we're from Kentucky, which is a very strong, concentrated area of indigenous, you know, black people. And then, and then we, so we come from a, a tribe of powerful women yes. in spirituality. Yes. The only yes. thing is that. They lost the hoodoo, voodoo, their hoodoo and voodoo connection because they lost the fact that even the Eastern Star connection, they lost that in the Pentecostal church. That's the, the, the thing that they don't get why I respect, not fully, but the Baptists and the Methodist African Americans a little more, or black, you know, whatever. Melon, it's them. The community we come from, because the Methodist, African Methodist Church, the Baptist Church, originally our people were hiding our true African spirituality within the Catholic Church, the Episcopal, all of this Protestant. Yeah. We were experiencing all of that, but holding on, that's what secret society is properly used. We we right. may be calling this Saint Peter or so and so, but we know that it represents another original spirit. So these come women so that enough. I come from, Keisha come from, even you in the Connecticut area, you got to study our indigenous Moorish history in those areas, and you will see that these are powerful symbols that became evangelists, prophetess, and Pass. some of them so. So powerful they even reach bishops. Do you know how what how even though they had to mutilate themselves as women to do so, because it's very massive. None of nothing about hierarchy is similar. But a lot of the women operated in that. That's where we come from. That's why we're connected. Because our mothers lost their natural identity but kept their magic. You feel me? They still yeah. got the magic. They just don't know who they are. So that yes, is right. the part that brought us together that we're not aware of. Mother Nation. Right. Word up, man. Yeah, that's so dope to know, man. Like I said, when I when I first met you, it was definitely like an instant. I was nervous because I could tell these people are really, they really own it, thirst. But and I was nervous to even pass the journey <laughs> around. I'm like, yeah, do you just like give, give me this? <laughs> Yo, do you know, honestly, I could cry thinking about what it took for us, me, my lady, Keisha, to, to even be able to partake in a drink or a joint, my lady. And yeah. A joint How did that feel to be from, from that perspective to know them in that lane and to be like, they're like, I was I'm it. so thankful Just for like, my yeah, experience. Yeah, so dope, yeah. man. I'm so that's thankful so dope, for my man. experience outside the church. Right. You know what I mean? That's where I came to really know myself, not at church. Yep. And it was because of the people who got me to go against what was given. The people that keep you under that are not your friends. That's why they go to church, because they're not challenged. So you feel more comfortable around people that don't push you outside of your limits. Those are, imagine on a plantation, 
you all, all of your friends, nobody want to run away. That's wow. sad. Yeah. So yeah, you, you know what I was thinking it, too? Mm-hmm. A, lot of them, a lot of them will say, you know, you smoking those, those, that wacky weed that some of my mom calls it. Yeah. <laughs> or you're doing those, those things that, you know, give you that. But you know how I was talking about the, uh, Yo, let me tell you yeah, something that happened. The, 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 hold up. You know, I'll tell you about the uh the, the sky cave retreats where you go in the complete yeah. darkness. Where's yeah. some yo, there ain't no drugs involved in that. You sit yeah. in the complete how many Christians that would sit in complete darkness for three days? You know what I'm saying? They can't smoke weed or, or tell me how you come. they can't do that, yeah. They can't do tell that. me how you come out. They can't do that. They are on prescription. Nah, yeah. Marijuana is not a drug. Mushrooms not a drug. L- LSD is better than taking prescription drugs. Real, yeah. You're safer taking those drugs off the street than you are pharmaceuticals. That's proven. This ain't me making uh, something yeah. up. But, but the church has no discernment. What good is it for? They can't even keep the people in general basic health. They don't have enough belief in their God to stay away from that when it's proven to be poison. There's nothing good about even uh, high blood pressure pills. Bobby Hemmett exposed that in the 90s, y'all. The 90s, How is it that they got a God and they still take high blood pressure pills in 2024? That's sad. Those men <laughs> need to die, bro, because they're blocking us from being who we are. They need to die off, y'all. They're in the way of our evolution as a people. I hear that ludicrous shit. Move, get out the way. You say Move, yeah, bitch. All of them, the pastors and these preachers, are fucking in the way, yo. Huh? Way, man. You say we, we're doing an individual. This is a gift that we're doing because Mother Nature said, "Hey, I know you're here, but a part of this relationship, not contract. You can say you got, a, you don't have a contract with Mama. You got a relationship." With so these yes. are all her children. And she says, well, with what you know, share it in your own unique way. This is our own unique way of leaving breadcrumbs for those that come from the same oven we come out of, bro. The Pentecostal And church. nobody can say it's no indoctrination or following mm-hmm. a leader because we no, all had we our own none. separate paths to get to. All we know I was, is I was by myself, you, and I didn't yeah, give a yeah. fuck, neither. I was like, I, I'm, if I got to go alone, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I know right. what I'm saying is a hundred. Because yeah. I don't tell lies. Me and my lady had to go alone, bro. Words, huh? Yeah, I, me and my I, lady had to, had to realize that our journey was a, a single journey. Yeah. That's the only way you can even be in relationship. Got to so, because Word yeah. up. But see, the, remember I shared this post from Monique Ruffin where she said she learned in church and I love I love to use her because a lot of people could look at us as younger men and write it off. So she brought way more eloquence and way more sophistication to what we're saying. She said it like she said she realized in the church that the culture profits it off of oppressive relationships. Oppressive behaviors, capitalism, mm. which connected to what we said. It's a part of the same system as the government, the public school system, pharmaceutical drugs. How do Prison. we know? You just share a church person so delusional that they take pictures with IVs and, and show their pill box and for prayer. Pray for me, saints. I mean, sir, this, this shit gotta go. Yeah, I don't even want my know. children to know this type of behavior exists, yo. I see yeah, the nurse yeah, the yeah. other day make a comment about marijuana smoke while dealing with prescription drugs. And her health is shot to shit. So she don't need <laughs> How is that a nurse, sir? She's not even healthy. Something, yo. Where did we wake up, yo? She got to do this, this to get in that bottle. Perfect. like every, every zombie movie you ever saw was a documentary about today. But they illustrated the zombies in a horror, unbelievable way, like the Bible does. 
same thing. The Bible's right. not literal. The walk, night of the living dead is not literal. The walking dead is not literal. What is literal about both the Bible and these movies, even Star Wars, is the message. You feel me? Yeah, it's so dope that you say this because one of the things I want to say in terms of how you, in your mind, how you think about things and how you train train up a child, right? I remember when TJ was a child, you know, we lived in this crib and we had a, uh, uh, we lived on like the second floor of this apartment and uh, me and his mom at the time. And I, when I look at kids nowadays, they got the fucking um, plugs in the outlets so they don't touch the outlets and they fucking sit wrapped around the cabinet so they pull up. When yeah, TJ was a when, when TJ was a baby, yo, it wasn't no fucking child locks, my nigga. He knew not to go and touch certain yeah. shit, yo. It wasn't. I didn't have to fucking worry about it. But when I see, I even see parents walking around with leashes on their children. No, they're scared of everything. Sad, yeah. especially like, people how the with fuck? the external God. You know how you you know how you can tell people are scared. They have an external God. Only oh. fear. He, remember, I told you, when I fought the Bible God, he was made of construction paper. And yeah. afterwards, I helped him take himself up. We, we, I asked him <laughs> questions, literally, with Scott tape. That sounds like some Avengers shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me this shit is in my throne you... trip. A hero. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Terrence McKenna and his whole family and the shit that they do with shrooms, Bill. But. He's like, belief makes me lost. So it's all appearance, but there's no substance or power to belief, you know, only knowledge. They knowledge, don't right. know nothing. So they believe, you know. So to have an external God is is proof you're you're afraid. You're scared. Why does he exist then? There's nothing to him if there's nothing to fear. He dissolves, hey. my nigga. It's so dope. But the other night, not too long ago, I was vibing to, you know, listen to some music. And that bone crusher shit came on, yo. Ooh, and I was out. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I never scared. Bitch, I still play that shit. Yeah. That when just I'm gave like, me like, what the fuck? I never scared. No. Most cats, not all cats. Not all cats. Not all cats. Not all cats. Just hearing it now. That shit make you think it feel. <laughs> The fuck you need to be scared of? Yo, one of the things I want to ask you to talk about is in terms of like uh, growing up in the church for me being a musician, right? It was like I started playing drums and I started getting nice and taking my craft seriously. Practicing yeah. and listening to jazz drummers that were dope and emulating them and just trying to... And then another drummer, she um, was a girl, you know, and she ended up playing after I started playing. And her family became like this competitive thing. Yeah. Where it was like, he's getting too much playing time. Yeah. yeah. Let's go I to the pastor. Right. The pastor's <laughs> like, you know, okay, if we're going to switch Sundays. You play a Sunday. And I was clearly nicer than her. And there was disrespect, but that's what it was. And, but then it was like, it just became this thing where like her family would do things to try to Try to so called mess me up while I'm playing, yeah. clapping off beat and shit. I'm like, I'm way, <laughs> I'm way, I'm way too nice for this show. Like, that's yeah, not fucking with me. Shit, so, I'm playing through it. But when I thought about it after a while, I was like, you know what? I don't even want to play no more. This is supposed to be to the glory of God and all of that. Y'all can have this shit. You know what? I'm writing songs from now on. So, I started writing songs. I started writing songs. And I feel like that was something that had to happen to get me to start writing but when i noticed when i moved to atlanta right i started working with different cats it seems like anybody that's got a church background in them they got this competitive nature to them when it comes yeah. to their talent show and yeah. i'd be like when i moved to atlanta it was the first time i've seen like yo somebody's somebody else is good at what they do too you know what i'm saying and they acknowledge it for what it is there's no I'm the man and I'm above everybody yeah. else. Like everybody got a different expression of their gifts, but that church culture is almost like yeah. embedded in a lot of people's minds and be like that's how you I'm, know it's unnatural. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's how you can tell it's unnatural. It's this it's, competition it, shit. Yeah, because it, it can't 
it can't accomplish what it sets out. It's unrealistic. So they're the most delusional people. This is how you know. See how many individual churches is in an area. Yeah. They're delusional. Yeah. That tells you that it's ego. It is. And that that God and his spirit, <clears throat> if if real, ain't doing shit. Because the, one of the most powerful things that that could do that would even catch my attention, as much as I despise what it is, is if you hit an area and all of the ones that use that copywritten name, Jesus, were all in one location. Whether they were, who cares about the denomination? It's the same, they're, they're worshiping the same faith. Right. They, they say the name two or three, it's all about the name. This is what, it's ego, yo, and it's because it's it male-driven, uh... male-dominated. It's like me telling you, don't lead with dead head. They lead yeah. with death. You feel me? If, you, if you're not being led by the feminist, you are fool. Even as an individual, you better be led by your heart. Not the root chakra heart in your chakra. kingdom, nigga. They're led by their <laughs> own lust. You know how you know? Wow. There is no person named Jesus or yeah. God. That's already proven. Young people not trying to figure that. They already know it. Yeah. It's the people from our generation and older that don't know it. So they're from the old, we came out of the Piscean age, I believe. This is the age of Aquarius, baby. I know. No, yeah. 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 No. That was my. That was. One, nigga. That's my feeling. Oh, everybody. Yeah, you know I man. Yo, oh, when I when I that was my freedom moment. When I looked at them, because I'm a big on words, being a songwriter. Yeah. I'll go to. I got the dictionary app, and I flip through that motherfucker, and be like, wouldn't and and go yeah, to the etymology you know. joint. We need and then to when I just like. They've been programming niggas to think that yeah. belief and knowledge are synonymous, yo. Yeah. And they ain't got nothing in common, yo. You know what I'm saying? And, and so they don't see the offense of a thing called God asking you to only believe. That's if I tell thing. you that, if I tell you that, and I'm a salesman, nigga. <laughs> Oh no no, just just believe. <laughs> and then, like we said last joint, to be indoctrination, to be taught a set of beliefs, yeah, uncritically. You don't know shit. What, what the fuck are we doing, yo? Because you can learn nothing from a book, not just the Bible, but no book. You can't right. learn nothing from any book. The yeah, because it's a point. Where... Point you to yourself. Where it's okay. a point in learning where you gotta do the application. Yeah. And the fuck by do it. You do the application by who? The book ain't gonna do it. <laughs> you can't put a math test in a math book and close it. <laughs> it's gonna apply itself, yeah. <laughs> so figure that shit numbers, out, buddy. Figure book, it out, yeah. You, here's the thing, and maybe I shouldn't ask these children whose parents are from our generation. That's <laughs> but that's another story, nigga. But did you know numbers before math, or did you know math before numbers? Damn, sir. So the numbers was there. The book, you feel me, came to uh. express math, nigga. But you had to already be doing it. And even really? those concepts, I heard uh, Dr. B. Like that, nigga. They're not going to think like that. Dr. B said... said one and one isn't two, yeah. It's not. He said it could be three. Me and you talking right now, they'd be like one and one is two, but it's the energy that existed. Yeah, as well. man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's three like a motherfucker yeah. to me. You know what I'm saying? So the, they 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 trap you in what they teach you in a book. Damn. You feel man. me? They're not showing you nothing. Originally, that's what a book is to do. Show you something, not teach you nothing. You can't learn until you do. Right. You feel me? 
what what the Bible telling you to you do? do? <laughs> the Bible is not shouldn't be used to learn. You feel me? It's just and if you're gonna you. go there, it says seek ye first. Showing you something. <laughs> be still in what? Be still no in what, bro? No what? No what? You know what, saying? what you should? What do you know? What you got know that you got just. So it's showing you something. They think it's teaching you something or telling you about somebody. Yo, yeah. baby, we've lost our genius. Why? Genius is demon. Wow, Feel me? Demon man. and genius is the same thing. Yeah. Demon and genius is the same thing, bro. So you lose your genius when you externalize them. So right. you hear people say, I made friends with my demons. In this world of slaves, they'd be like, oh, no. No, you do. Because you think about it on the day. Friends, yeah? Demons are the real what? Friends. Wow. It's like the devil. The devil's your real friend. The enemy. The enemy. Who brings the light? <laughs> who brings the light? You <laughs> talked about this the last time. You, you, you told me. Who's the light bringer, bro? Lucifer, Lucifer. man. <laughs> Lucifer is your friend. Who told Eve that you will be like that? The serpent, you know? So remember we said Isaac? What is Isaac for real? I S S. What is that? The S S, bro. What's on the dollar? What's on that, that cross right. for the doctors and pharmaceuticals? Yep. That's the N M P dollar. So the true story of Abraham or Brahma, which is you, as a male, Sarah Swati becomes Sarah, right? Brahma becomes Abraham. This is after it was complete. Now it's perverted because it's a loop. But in its proper order, it was a good story. Why? It wasn't literal. It was showing you something. Showing you who or what? Yourself, my nigga. And what we really telling people, yo, with these messages, it's like the video game shit is such a dope analogy, man. Yes, it is. You can't do the motherfucking same pattern and think you're going to get to the next level. It's more to know out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to fucking switch it up, yo. Do something different. Think outside of the fucking box. And I've heard, uh, I think Young Pharaoh say, you look at a cross and you fucking fold it up. You know what I'm saying? It's a fucking box. And that's what yeah. people are really caught Dude. up in. You know what I'm saying? To get outside Dude. of that motherfucker is... It's like a wet paper bag, though. Once you yeah. hit... <laughs> like, like like Zip Carey in that movie. Cube, uh... Go ahead, yo. When, to be trapped in a cube, you have to first be... That box has to first exist on your mind. That's why they don't want you introduced to astrology. They don't no want doubt, you introduced yeah. to numerology. It's outside the box. Yeah. Now you in the broad, remember I said last time about the subconscious? That's the same as space. The space external is your subconscious internal. Wow. You feel me? To go into space is to go deep sea diving in your mind. So we now Christians can be deceived by aliens. You feel me? Only religious people can be thrown by aliens because they believe space travel is a physical thing. Yeah. Through, through physical machinery. But but what do we talk about? The inner who? Inner me. So the only way to travel space is internal, y'all. Yeah. They're keeping you from that with a book on the outside that's also shaped like that box. That you close. And now really? the word of God? What? That reminds me this of the fucking uh, Jim Carrey shit I was going to say with the... Uh... The uh, Truman Show, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He got to the end of that. Fuck, he was trying to reach to the sky. He gets to the motherfucking sky. And next thing you know, he's touching the fucking, yeah. and he punches the shit like yeah. fuck, man. Yeah. That's all that. That's all this religion shit is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's more and than, than what they in, told us. And that's where flat Earth comes from. You feel me? Earth is an element, not not a planet. A planet is individual's plane of experience. We can only experience that fear on a plane, personally. Yeah. You feel me? But just like on a video game, that plane that you see is a part of co 
coding of a sphere. Yeah. You feel me? So the right. coding of what we exist on is the sphere because it's you. The black dot that expands in all directions. So how do you express that on two-dimensional form? A flat earth sheet of paper. A spiral. You feel me? That's a spiral. So when you change the angle of that spiral and look at it from another angle, it's a wave. It yeah. starts small and get bigger. So everything is about evolution. To stairway to heaven, Jacob's ladder, spiral up higher and broader. So the first level, maybe you were in the church. That's yeah. level one. Level one, yeah. Now you've got to break out of that to level two, get broader in your understanding and higher in your perspective of yourself. New patterns, huh? Yeah, and you shouldn't still see. What if you still see yourself as a child of your parents? I'm a child of, of Lovita. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm an adult now, nigga, and a right. step. Right. They're not even initiates, yo. So they yeah. call themselves a child of God. You're not God yet? <laughs> Somebody said to me, Oh, I'm a little G, not a big G. Fuck the G, man. You still Me, got this too, fucking sex mentality. I'm a junior you know nigga, but I'm Big John too. That's just two Big Johns you know on her. That's all. That's two Big Johns. I'm Big John. I grew up. <laughs> you feel me? My daddy didn't want me to stay a child. That's what, what it really is. How do you how do you really see yourself, yo? Yeah. How do you see what yourself? What kind of father man? wants his son to stay a child? And not grow up and be a man like him. If your father God is real and is worth something, he wants you to be a big G too. If he Hell don't, he yeah. ain't worth shit. He ain't worth shit. You stay in love, Z. I He's got just you. like Abraham. <laughs> and what good is God's son to him? Sacrifice. <laughs> what good is Abraham's son to him? Sacrifice. Wow, man. Not Jesus, man. That's perverted, bro. Jeez, it is, man. You know say perverted, yo. <laughs> it's the truth, yo. And that's we why, the, remember, yo, we feeding the multitudes right yo. now, baby. Yeah, yeah, you know what saying? With, 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 we, we could take two fish, five loaves, I mean, five loaves of bread. What's two fish, Pisces? What's the loaf of bread? Aquarius. You feel me? Yep. That's what that's a representation of. So now that takes you out of thinking some literal shit about some man. Then he's telling people, follow this man into my into a into his with a pitcher of water. Now listen, this is how we were taught, my nigga, not to analyze anything as a man. Uh, yeah. Accept it, yeah. Yes. Teaches you what to think and not how to think. You know what I mean? And they're no so they're not good for women or anybody. Why? Abraham, like we said before, once he started to walk with the intention of sacrificing his son, he was good for nothing, especially man. not good for a woman. Right. Why would she want to pre procreate with a man that would turn his children over to Jesus? Why? I'm not turning mine over to nobody. No, I don't give a fuck no, if you know God, nigga. I'm a God. <laughs> Those are my children. Big Z. Big Z yeah. too. Big go. Uh, right. Right here you say now. <laughs> right. You know? Right here you say I'm no better than nobody else. But damn sure really? nobody better than me, yeah. You that's know what I'm saying? That's, that's real. That's real back, but yeah. That's, that's, that's how masculine. I see myself, though. That's you know too masculine. I'm great, nigga, but that's I'm not the only great one. Words, huh? That's, I'm not the and only And that church great mindset, one. like I said. It's only there's one, one great organist, one dope organist, yep. one, because dope, there's only, one can dope only be singer. One great one. Oh, let her come sing, you know? That shows a, it's, Remember, it's a lot of perversion you, in that. It's because it's, it's an untoward generation, which means out of order. They go in the wrong direction. So that's why we backslide, because they go in the wrong direction. They're led by a penis. Yeah. You would by think. Penis. If narrow is the way, what the fuck are we doing? 
Y'all, 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 y'all,
she wasn't a Christian. They believed she was a Christian. Terry they Tevin. believed Nat Turner was a Christian. Right. This is their time they will get lit, so you better have a Bible. Do you remember I said the indigenous places, and me and Keith here, even you, Connecticut, look it up, Kentucky, where we from, our mothers are connected to indigenous witchcraft, voodoo right. and hoodoo and stuff. You know what I'm right. saying? Which they would hide in Christianity. Watch, oh, yeah, watch, man. Watch, watch them with the white Pentecostal service. That's voodoo, though. That's voodoo. The, 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 the Pentecost service, Pentecost Sunday with the white, that's all voodoo initiations, bro. That the is, man. Sitting, sitting on a, a Professor James Small, bro, he'll show you how the morning bitch or tearing for the Holy Ghost is all connected to you figuring out what is on your head. In voodoo wow. and Yoruba practice, it was our expression here indigenously of the same thing. They hid it in Christianity, but over time we became ignorant to that and messed with it. You said it in the first episode. They just took it for face value because we were disconnected from our lineage. Our, we wow. became African American or black. Yeah. You have, which means. Uh, what is that that uh, Tyson Fury called um, Deontay Wise? A doctor. You don't even know your home. You think you're from Africa. That's the motherland. But you came <laughs> here from Africa when there was nobody here. <laughs> this was the first, you know, that there was an island that broke up and spread apart. You're not going to hear this shit in church. They're not going to tell you about that. They don't know shit about it. Right. They, and they don't even know how that connects to consciousness within. The, the the island breaking up into how many continents, bro? Seven. How many chakras? <laughs> Yo, they, you know, they're going to be like, this is all a coincidence. This type and, and what if, what if we get connected on, to man. through Father of Law, Clarence 13X, and, yeah. and, 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 and the noble Drew Ali, the, the Quran circle, what, bro? It's on the necklace of the, the, the nations of God and earth. Jay Z, who's not a real one, but he had the necklace on. Lord Jamal. Yeah. Five percent nation. Circle seven, yeah. Yeah. The seven. So they'll tell you that that's God. How many times you should forget? Then they're trying to do the math when it's all right. symbolic. Seven. Wow. So that's energetic in raising energy through your your seven chakras. The heart being the cross. The cross. Yeah. Three below, three above. When I think Your about it too, like this. yeah. When I think about it too, it's like the fucking if I if I'm like Christians, if you say okay, slavery was a thing that existed, but you got some people that got access to some magic that can make the slave master get the fuck up off of you. You telling me you wouldn't accept that shit? No, you be like, they wouldn't. Come on, man. No, they, that's why they were, that's why they were slaves. That's the only reason they Sad, were the Bible, bro. The Bible. Sad. There's a there's a show called Hell on Wheels that you should watch from the beginning. They'll show you how Christianity was used through teaching the children how to read the Bible to teach it to the parents. So wow. you got a bunch of little boys now in the pulpit, still to this day. Every one of them pastors are little boys, bro. Or they wouldn't be parents. There wouldn't be a pulpit with a podium. Yeah. Now that there wouldn't exist. Now there's people that broke out of that that went to lecture halls and shit, but they kept the same. You know, over time we still celebrate and push them forward to where they can finally drop Jesus, God, the Bible, devil, angels, because we're in a new world. We got to let these little ones that came here now, these babies that are here. Bring us the new visuals, bring us the new story, or we're yeah. doomed in a loop. They remake right. a movie. We're That's in a loop here. Right. And right. church yeah, has no right. power, or the loop wouldn't happen. The niggas definitely in the loop, man. They're yeah. part of it. Like I tell you, I, when I said that whole that merry go round analogy, that shit's so of real it. for me. The My foot is in the sand. Bro. Get me off of this motherfucker, yeah. I'm real, not spinning yeah. around in the motherfucking day. What's that R and B song? Merry go round <laughs> and round. Nigga, there's a picture of Catherine Kuhlman. She got a car that says Jesus is Lord or Jesus is coming soon. 
she ain't even here no more. And that's the nigga saying same thing. But he said in the Bible that <laughs> it's that generation. Yeah. <laughs> That was that about. <laughs> two thousand years ago. But he still yeah. comes through. And then I nah. seen another post, bro. He said all of these gods are dead. But Jesus, what an idiot. What an yeah, idiot. Nah. Where is he at then? He lives. You know what I'm saying? Where? <laughs> What's that so? I'm so glad he know he lives. He lives. He lives in me. <laughs> If that's the case, motherfucking act like you did. You know what I'm saying? Yo, uh, if this book uh, is about I, you, Reverend, yes, I, I wanted to mention earlier. Yeah, some of the start with with uh, you mentioned him uh, the last time. You said the rapture's not happening. Some of them need to start with him, and he can get them to Reverend. I. What's his yeah. name? Uh, what's his name? You said his name the last time. Ray Hagins. Ray Hagins and Reverend Ike. Package it in a way that's not as offensive to church. Yeah, right. You know, but it's still, you know. (laughs) But the day and time we in, it's time to throw shit at the wall, shit on the door. You remember John uh, 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 Wesley and and the twelfth? You know, he goes to the Catholic Church and nails his criticism to the door. This is where the church is again, but now it's to end it all. It's over. There's no reformation for church. It's done, yeah? It cannot be here when my grandkids do. It cannot. It cannot. They, their only church they'll ever hear is the shopping, bro. That's right it. Or I'm not leaving. Some people would be I'm like, why are you guys so... I had him in about this because, because you know how poison. people manipulate you. You know what I'm it's saying? Poison. It, it, don't you. Need, you know it, don't, it hasn't earned the right to exist anymore. It's yes. proven itself to be unworthy. It's got to go. You can look at it and tell. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's look, too look, much, look, yo. look at the people in your congregation. If you've got any, any questions, look at their lives. Look at their help. Yeah, I look, told you to get that I'm working on, bro. When we walk in the church, they got this fancy purple rug. It reminded me of this storefront church I went to. This is the pastor was a Leo. The outside looked like shit. But that nigga had the inside looking like a fucking <laughs> that, But that's the work of church, nigga, that, that type of witchcraft, right? But yeah. When you come in this church, it's a royal rug. And the people are covering their nose like, what the fuck is that? The pastor like, don't wear it. As they're walking, their shoes are getting shit on. It's like squishing through the rug because they swept all the shit under them. You feel me? That's church today, literally. They got so much shit under that rug, nigga. I know. I know it's some women out there that are really tuned in, but because of their relationship, their mother, their husband or significant other may be a pastor and minister and things Mm -hmm. of that nature. Does that nigga ever put hands on you, y'all? You know it's some bullshit, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Once you know that, Ain't a yeah. lot of them know, yeah. It's some bullshit, a lot of them yeah. Know, yeah. Period. And that's some things, because I respect yeah. women more than men. I don't respect that shit, man. There's some things I won't yeah. do. Because if, if it involves a woman, I won't. Right. You feel me? Because then that adds more abuse to her from already going to abuse. So I won't. Yeah. There's but certain corridors is. you go down. Yes. You can't come. That's what it is. That shit on you. Dude, that doesn't violate you. That's that shit on you. I have no respect. Yeah. None. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even the women that yeah. violate, I don't know. I, I would give that to the women to do. But the women that's been violated, I won't say what happened to them. I'll let them do it. You feel yeah. me? Because then that could add to their abuse just by saying what happened. That's how horrible this shit is, yo. This shit is horrible. It's horrible, yo. Some women now, they're with a man that still abuses them. And then preaches. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Then he gets done and reads the Bible. He got highlighter and everything. Woe unto any woman whose husband spends more time in a book than with you. Hey, man. Well, he used to be like that. He's not like that anymore. Mm -hmm. Shit me, yo. More 
Nigga, mm. more, more friend. Man, I used to drive home from work, bro, and stop by this chick house and was like, yo, you can't do this because I'm married at the church. But she used to put on a hell of a church. Yeah. It was like as far as I could go to be comfortable with myself. Because I had these ways in me that I wasn't, I love women. But that yeah. love, when not embraced, can become perverted. Where could that have led me if I stayed in the church, bro? Right. Where could that have led me? All this secret shit. Can't even imagine, yeah. Here I'm preaching, bro, and and got, you know, I go see one chick, go see another chick, because yeah. I'm trying to juggle who I am. And and yeah, you gotta be real with yourself. No, I used not to be real cry, with yourself. praying over an hour to fall asleep with my face in the carpet, praying. Right. Get a mark, got a mark on my forehead from doing. <laughs> Where now, me, yo, I've never been so comfortable. My ways are my ways, my nigga. You feel me? Yeah, my they, ways, they know my ways happy, yeah. yes. <sighs> pure, all things are pure, boy. My heart is pure. I, once I've done that work to, to purify my heart, yo, that's what all the struggle and challenges are for. Right. You can be the most free because you got a pure heart. You know thyself. Nigga, my heart is pure. I have I none think of Somebody will be like, what? How do you know? And for me, before you answer, I'm going to say, I know my heart is pure because of this right here, y'all. Motherfucking discipline, y'all. I, I know because I, I could really be into some shit. Yeah. That's what I chose to do. But I'm, I'm the controller. This is the motherfucking commander Thurston Hargrove show. You feel me? I'm the fucking director. The I put the stars in all of that, the cast and all of that. So that's how I know my heart is pure. If I wanted to be on some other shit, I could choose that as well. You know what I'm saying? But nah, I'm walking in a certain way because I feel like you know it's an opportunity to do something different, and that's the only way to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? Compared to the past generations yeah. on both sides of my family and other families I know in religion and outside of religion it's like man and not just when i say outside of religion it's like that are caught up in politics and all this weird shit like nah yo you could you could fucking set your own course to your own destiny you know what i'm saying and i'm 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 driving this spacecraft you feel me that's how i go with the fucking commander shit my bad i had to get that off how do you know your heart is true man Yo, like what you said, Sam, you that's true Islam, you know? I accept Lord and Master. It's yes, about man. self mastery, yo. That's what the whole thing is about. You're the controller, yeah. So, now look at how perverted it is to be told that that you 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 were born in I don't know how else to put that that that's demonizing your natural which is why I use organic self. You feel what I'm saying? That's kind of man. You, you, once you gain <laughs> self mastery, bro, you don't need belief in anything. That's how we know. We don't need nice. to believe in nothing. That, why? Nice. Everything we say happens, nigga. Their, nice. their, their words don't come to pass. That's why they pray. And I would nice. tell my daughter this if you meet a dude who's praying, you better not get with him because he's not he's not satisfied with his own creation. That's real shit, man. He'll never be satisfied with you. He's not <laughs> satisfied. He's praying. <laughs> I don't need to pray for anything. Right. Keys everything to say, I say comes to pass, nigga. Everything. Keys to say, you're the only thing I know that gets on their knees every night before they go to Man. And when I got out that religious shit, said, nigga, you don't believe in Jesus. We just stop praying. Like, what's up with you? I was like, that's it over, yeah. That's, that's and a now, new fucking guess day, you yeah. Guess what you get more time to do, man? Really get on, <laughs> get on the real author. Because <laughs> who comes first in that relationship? Go on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then my fat boy. Damn, son. Who, what, what, what creator would you could you imagine asking your children to thank you every day, every day for for, for helping getting your mom pregnant, their mom pregnant? 
thank you, Dad. Every day, thank you, Dad, for getting Mom pregnant, man. Thank you, Dad. Every day, thank you, Dad. Thank, thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. It's like you know, all those well, thank you yous end up to like, come on, man. Yeah, if man, you're man, walking man, in man. that, that's what it is. Me. Yes, you thanking me by being. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Me. Be, we be. Bless this food that we're know. about to receive in our adventure. <laughs> Why do we not bless our food? Nigga, I'm preparing or cheap prepared. It's I'm blessed. preparing. It's blessed. It's blessed. Thank you, Lord. 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 That's why you think that getting something is somehow a blessing. It's that, oh, I got something. You, you don't need nothing. So to be less is to receive something and think it's a gift. You got gifts within you. So to I had take to something outside about that. as a gift is a blessing. And what's a blood sacrifice? A blood or a blessing. Look it up, you know, same thing. Them words are so tricky. I told, I was telling somebody even the word when, you know. All we do is win, win, win. Yeah. It's like niggas be like, win, 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 yo. I'm, win. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> That's, why <laughs> That's why they stay in competition. They're trying to win, meaning that they're not there yet. They're not there yet. So I'm yet. never and trying like, to win. win. Yeah. All I do is win. What? I am all the time. <laughs> What I am, yeah. I'm the I'm the victor already. You I'm great, saying? nigga. I don't, I'm, I don't so know. so somebody beat me in a boxing match means they're better than me. It's a a, a match. Right. match. That's why I respect team sports to the sense of it's at least it's the best uh, four out of seven. Yes. Yeah. In boxing, one one match, you you better right. be free from that bullshit. Right. <laughs> to know great, nigga. That's why I don't like these new fighters, yo. They they love their old so much. People have said to me, they like, Thirst, when is it gonna happen? When are you gonna get your when are you gonna get your break? You've been writing songs a long time. Somebody told me that. I said, Yo, man, it happened for me when I came out the womb. Man, when I was in the womb. That's when so, it happened. Thirst, what is the me. police to tell them out the body? Despise not what? The days of small beginnings. The minute you thought to be it, it began. But they don't think so because they have no patience. <laughs> even though the Bible says patience is a virtue. Have his birth return so and all that. So it, it's always happening the moment you, you say so. That's what it, it is. Says, what part of the process are you in? You, are you That's in? It. Burn it up, man. Yeah. Everything begins what? with destruction because you, you're, you're, you're letting go of something that already is. So if, if I'm saying... That, uh, oh, I'm going to be, boom. Then I need to get ready for what I am right now and fall apart. Because it's happening. It's, no, ace is for nothing. nothing. Ace is an anxiety. Ace is an anxiety. Got a lot of comment, yo. There you go. Ace is an anxiety. Got a lot of comment. You know, anxiety, you know what, stress, what the, you, stress you know what disease. You know the major thing is? Belief. That's it, man. Belief. That's why all of that exists. Belief. You chop that shit down. You be on your way. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of belief. There goes Get your rid of that shit, man. There go anxiety. Because I don't believe shit, nigga. I know what I know. I got to know. And if it's I something that I believe. said, nigga, I know it is. Because yeah. it's only a matter of what, bro? Huh? Yes. <laughs> what? So where I am, here may be also. But by the time here get where I am, I'm long gone further up. And further brow, brow. Yo, speak to them is, it's a scripture. I know you're familiar with that. Patience must have her perfect turn. You know? Yeah. What does that and mean? You know? you know what I'm saying? All feminine. Oh, feminine, yeah. Feminine. It all everything that we need <laughs> is in us. Why? Because it was already in our mother. It's I told her, you yeah. semen come from your mama's bone marrow. You don't have your daddy's semen. You got right. your grandmama's bone marrow from him. Now you get your mama's bone marrow. Oh my God. Then what role has the man playing to carry? Yes, it's all about the mitochondria. Tell your preacher to look that up, this dumbass. <laughs> all this preacher about the blood of Jesus. And he ain't telling you nothing about mitochondria. And ask your pastor to tell you about the blood of Jesus. 
tell you about the mitochondria <laughs> DNA that's in that dumb nigga's blood. So it's almost like the man is really just the transporter to sex. There you You're go, You're just bro. transporting of, the of, seed to of, the... of what, bro? Light. <laughs> but where did the light come from? Dark. Darkness, yo. Uh, dark. So that semen is a spark of light from within me that came from my mama. Damn, baby. We are the capsule or encapsulation of the light. We carry it. Yeah. So we are, you are your mama expression as a man. Your mama. Man, that's, that's, man, listen, that's, and I, and you're so, she said, because a lot of, most of my, my network in terms of people that I talk to, on a, on a no regular basis of females, yeah. And it's so weird because our conversation sometimes it'll be like, they'll be like, girl, and I'll be like, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> be like, and they just be fucked up yeah. in terms of like, because it's the energy. It's, it's the it energy, is. yo. Yeah. Not yeah. motherfucking, not the, the normal nigga yeah. not talking to them like that. Yeah. Get, Let's be real. It's a, it's you, depth, you see a whole. You know what I'm saying? Do I be like this how I am with you and TJ and them when I'm with my lady and daughter? Word. You see a whole nother me. No doubt, yeah. You feel? To so where when yeah. we went on that trip, I'm like, yo, when y'all said, I said, where y'all go? We about to go up here and shoot who? Wait, nigga. <laughs> Wait. I think I'm, I'm coming with me. Because I get to get that gorilla. Out. Word. I I I that nigga said, I ain't shot in a minute. I'm going with y'all niggas, though. That's why we can, that's why, so when we go, that's why we can connect with females like that, because we can tap into our own feminine energy. You, you're an earth side, oh, yeah. you're a water side. So we can tap in and turn that whole masculine side down without getting like tagged. Conversion of fruity with it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Ricky Diller and all this. Yo, I told this young dude this today. Uh, I told him how he moved too fast. He he, he had a girl lose interest because the moment he found out she liked him, he asked her on a date. He just moved so fast. I'm like, damn, nigga, when did you ask her about that? Right, you right. jump into a date, you never even ask her questions about herself. Because I said, now yeah. imagine if. If now she goes and she gets with her female friend and they like, girl, what happened today? Girl, what do you say? Girl, how do you feel? Girl. So, you know, I have all sisters. So what I learned yeah. was I can ask all them same questions without going, girl. I can sit there and say, oh, okay, yo. Yeah, how, how was your day? Yeah. How, how did you feel it? Did he make, oh, did you get mad? You didn't get mad. Wow. Well, you, you want me That's to? That's a I different type of energy, yeah. No, no. You feel good now? No, I'm good. Now. <laughs> Same questions, yo. Same questions. Wow, you, know you, you in touch with your feminine nature. That is magnetism. That you definitely know? is, yeah, for real. And then we, up, yeah. we can't we can't be so ignorant though that we think that all that attraction is all sexual. Not because women don't; they're way more complex. Right. You feel what I'm saying? No, you no. attract them. And she might just want to figure out, you know, how to get in the music industry. <laughs> right. No doubt. For real, man. No. Man. So we be, yeah. be what you just said. Anxious, nothing. but nothing, nigga. That's manhood. Anxious and anxiety should, got a lot in common, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anxiety, so as a man, we should disease. be an example of walking, walking meditation, bro. Yep. Walking yeah. meditation. That's right. masculinity, bro. Hell I yeah. I walk yeah. in meditation. That's why my body's here. That's why you niggas, when I first met you, yo, your gut, that shit, you got rid of that shit like that, man. You got rid of that shit like that. <laughs> I'm not you about to be way, the, you, the sloppy you titan. Yo, you don't look like that dude, yo. You don't look like that dude, yo. Yeah. Yeah. That shit, yeah, transformation. Yeah. We experience that shit, yo. Oh, yeah, man. And more to, come, right more to come, my nigga. More to come. You know what I mean? Or else, or else we'll just leave. If I'm not going to change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's feminine again, yo. Yeah. That's feminine. Change, 
Let's just see it happen in real time, too. You feel me? Oh, it's Mother- that day, my nigga. It's that day, Motherfucking bro. reprobate show, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. Fucking backsliders, yo. You know what I want to do? Get an illustration of us digging a grave and then kicking a church in. Damn, yeah, that'd be dope. We're gonna reprobate. We're gonna that'd work on that. You got the graphic, yeah. niggas. <laughs> yeah. Till next time. Yeah. Till next time, yo. Yeah.